my name is Danielle. Welcome. Today I'm going to be going through a calendar that I read every day. I'm going to be showing you the things that stuck out to me for the month of February. Um, it's called, it's about, it's by Max Lucado. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, but that's how I've always said it in my head. Max Lucado, Anxious for Nothing, an inspirational day spring day, day brightener. And I'm going to do this every month. Um, I just wanted to catch up. I did January already, and then now I'm going to do February, and then every month I'll do the ones that really stuck out to me. So, and if I don't, I'm not sure where I got this. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, if not, probably Amazon, but I'll definitely, if I can find it, I'll link it. So the first one is February 1st. Rejoice in the Lord's sovereignty. You can't run the world but you can entrust it to God. That is so good, especially right now here in the U.S. with everything that's going on, that has been going on with the 2020 and before the election and then now with just all the stuff going on in our country. You all know what I'm talking about. It's good. You know, we can't run the world, but we can trust it to God. So we need to do that. We need to lift up our leaders and just our world to our Lord because he is the one that can save us all and that's it <laughs> okay February 3rd rejoice in the Lord this is a call not to a feeling but to a decision and a deeply rooted confidence that God exists that he is in control and that he is good wow that is amazing I love that one love it love it love it don't really need to speak too much on that one because it's says everything it needs to. February 5th, your belief system is the set of convictions, all of them unseen, upon which your faith depends. If your belief system is strong, you will stand. If it is weak, the storm will prevail. That's amazing. Absolutely. Always, de always have faith. Always have faith. Have your beliefs strong and stand by them. You know, February 10th, even if I walk through a very dark valley, I will not be afraid because you are with me. Your rod and your walking stick comfort me. Psalm 24, 4. I'm sorry, 23, 4. That is beautiful because it's so true. You know, if we have Christ in our lives and he's always with us, what do we have to be afraid of? We're humans. We're going to have fear. We're going to have emotions. But as long as we fall back on him in the end, that's what matters. February 11th, we can't take control because control is not ours to take. The Bible has a better idea. Rather than seeking total control, relinquish it. Yes, I have a hard time with that. I mean, I do give up my life to the Lord and I, I do give him my problems and anything. And I'm grateful for everything, but I am a control freak. <laughs> so sometimes I struggle with that. So it's something I work on. You know, like I always say, we're all a work in progress. We're all doing the best we can. So let me know what you guys struggle with, what your, your thing is that you are working on on yourself. Okay, so I have February 18th. You live under the steady hand of a good God. You are protected by God's strength, preserved by God's love. You live beneath the shadow of God's wings. Same thing. God has us. We're always with him. He's always with us. So that's amazing. Um, I love that one. February 23rd. God is working in you to help you want to do and be able to do what pleases him. Philippians 2.13 amazing see he wants us to to do good he wants us to do good so he's he's there just working to help us to do good it's amazing he's just so amazing february 26th god often calms fears not by removing the problem but by revealing his divine power and presence amazing that's the thing we are going to have things in our lives i know i've said this before trials and tribulations we are going to have them um but he has divine power and he's always with us so that should help so much um it helps me knowing that he's always there i'm never alone never ever ever and then the last one 
February 28th, our biggest fears are sprained ankles to God. This has been like my favorite. I love this. Like our biggest fears are like a sprained ankle to God. Like it's nothing to him. He can, he can do anything. <laughs> so always just turn to the Lord. Um, let me know if you're liking this. Um, definitely hit the like button. Leave a comment. Um, I love hearing from you all. I would love to hear more from you all. Um, and I hope that you consider subscribing. I hope you're all having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly, amazingly blessed week. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.